Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Really excited today. Just got a new tool, assembled it, dialed in the specs, ready to cut some wood with it. Yep, that's right. Got an opportunity to upgrade to a 14 inch bandsaw, which has the capabilities of getting a riser block kit and having a resaw capability of 12 inches. Right now it's it goes up to six inches. We could install the riser block, which I will do in a future video and make it a 12 inch resaw. All right guys, so let's uh, start talking about this tool. Pretty cool. All right, so the first thing I want to tell you is all heavy duty, you know, cast iron and, uh, and aluminum construction, very heavy duty. This thing weighs, I think it was like two, 205, 206 pounds, something like that. But let me tell you something, to get it up on the stand by myself was no picnic. This thing's heavy duty. All right, so I finally did get it up on the stand. Before I put it on the stand though, I was smart. I made a rolling base. This is the stand that it comes with. Pretty cool. So put some two by fours down there and bolted it up through the top and put these, these are locking casters that also lock the, the swivel part. So not only do they, when you move around, they swivel, but once you lock the wheel, they don't swivel anymore. So not only are they locked from rolling, but they're also locked from swiveling. So now that I've rolled it out, I'm gonna talk about a few things here. Very nice fence system, very free flowing. Comes with a miter gauge. Let's dig a little closer here. We have nice heavy duty industrial type switch. This is the area right here where you can bolt it, install a six inch riser block. And when you do, that will raise this whole unit up and it gives you another six inches of resaw capacity. So if I was to loosen this up here and raise up the blade guard all the way, have a little more than six inch capability of resaw, which is fine for now. But when I start to cut big logs and things for salad bowl blanks and stuff like that, resawing my own veneer, I'm gonna want the extra six inches of resaw capacity, which is where we're gonna get that riser block. And that will be in a future video, just not this soon. Lower that back down, lock that in place. Okay, the table, the cast iron, nice solid table. Pin adjustment right here, you pull this pin out, and that's how you sneak the blade out. You pull the, the blade insert out. All you have to do, this This is not threaded in, it's just a press fit. So you just give it a little twist and you pull it right out and change the blade, put the blade back in. Now this came with a 3 8 uh, blade, but move this out of the way here. What I did was because I'm gonna be doing a lot of resawing in the future, I bought a half inch blade for resawing. Uh, I believe this is a, three or four TPI half inch Olsen blade. Olsen's a really good uh, bandsaw blade if you're not familiar with them. So now I'm gonna flip this around. One of the key features that I love about this, and I'm gonna raise up the camera because I'm not sure you can see it. When you're done using a bandsaw, you wanna take the tension off the blade. So instead of having to loosen the tension knob every time you use it and then retension it, you know, when you're about to use it, what they did was, Rizzo was very smart. They installed this quick release knob right here. It's a, or a lever, you wanna call it. Right now I have a half inch blade, so I have a gauge back here that actually I set the tension to the half inch. Now, since I'm not using the blade, what I'll do is push over this quick release, and now the tension is off the blade completely. So when I'm ready to cut, all I have to do, swing this arm back over, tension's on the blade, start it up, make the cuts. When I'm done, let it come to a stop, click that over, and I'm good. Uh, one thing I am not crazy about, the dust port. What they should have just had a nice plastic four inch dust port piece that comes in, you know, out to a nice fitted, you know, like a table saw has or a jointer has where you can actually just put your dust collection hose right on there and it gives you that little tension and it doesn't fall off. Not crazy about it, but it's machined into the piece. So, you know, it's there, what can I do? If that's my only complaint, that's fine. All right guys, real quick, I'm gonna start it up, let you see how vibration free and how smooth the machine is and very quiet. And like I said, I have the dust collection hooked up, but I have it rigged up so it doesn't fall. Don't plan on it staying there unless you get an adapter, like a rubber adapter with a hose clamp. Uh, nice industrial switch, I'm gonna hit that one, start it up, and I'm just gonna resaw this piece of uh, solid red oak that I have. Before I turn on the dust collection, I want you to see how it starts up. Vibration free, very quiet. Notice I have the bearing set perfect right off the bat. Saved you the trouble of having to watch me do that. I'm going to raise the blade up a little bit. I always 
want to raise the blade up enough where you can move your fence close as you need to. I want that in right there. Get just close enough. Lock it in place. And I'm just going to cut a nice thin strip in the oak. Dust collection going, we'll cut it. Shut it off so this way you can see a nice thin piece that I just cut right over here. And it is a little rough, obviously, it's going to need some sanding, but I mean, that is a really nice straight cut. All right, guys, so that's it for uh, the little quick review. And this is the G0555LX Grizzly. 14 inch bandsaw. Uh, resaw capabilities, curve cuts, anything you need, salad bowls, big logs for uh, turning blanks. You know, this thing does it all. It's got great power. Uh, I believe it's one horsepower. Uh, runs off your 110. Uh, it has two speeds. You can adjust the tension on the motor and switch the belt on the pulleys. And I just want to tell you there's absolutely nothing wrong with my other bandsaw, the WEN 10 inch bandsaw. It's just that very quickly I uh, grew it for the amount of woodwork that I'm doing and I had the opportunity to upgrade to this. So the other saw is gone and I have this in its place. Now, whoever got that saw, I'm not gonna mention any names, Tommy, but uh, you got a great saw. All right, buddy? Okay, so uh, that's it for this quick review and I'll see you guys next time.